bit of bottling on the Tony Fest and uh, we've got 10 litres of beer to uh, bottle up we've done one bottle this is what I was talking about I'm gonna use just cubes in this thing because it's just so easy uh, oh I could have measured it out but and I could have put it in the tub but I just so this is the bottle this is our tester this is for carbonation so uh, it's clear um, it works for me just a Rubicon I'll just use the cap that came with it and um, uh, as we've all seen a lot of bottling before um, I just thought I'd have a ramble and a chat really so I had no internet for two weeks and uh, two weeks open reach so let's get that cap it's just a straightforward little recycle the cap so let's get that tile uh, this is on the taste of things quite a, a fruity little number for some sweetness right there's a color okay so uh, I could have gone a fraction darker already, but this is going to be okay. And um, some type of fest. Someone told me I shouldn't shake my beers. I have no idea why, but um, he doesn't have any videos. He just thought I shouldn't shake my beers. I've been shaking my beers for ten years, and um, I think it's ten years. It's quite a while, and. Uh, it's uh, has never been really a major problem for me. Um, okay, so let's keep going. Um, ah, I've got a couple of the these ones um, just because it, it's Oktoberfest. So why wouldn't you? Uh, a U.S. West Coast yeast for this. So it's a hybrid, clearly. But I used it because I wanted to drink it quick. And we've been doing some experimentation. And uh, let's just put that there while it's sorting itself out. Okay, so these are the these are the new caps going on here. It's just got the big H on it, uh, big H brewing apparently. Octony Fest um, is going to be in my backyard. <laughs> um, is it just the five at the moment in London? I think just the five, um, but that's fine. Um, so five from my bubble. So I'll probably be sampling this. Maybe there could be a zoom. There could be a zoom. That needs a little bit more because I really can't, I can't see, um, I can't see how we're going to be doing the London beer get together. If we're only allowed five people in a group, how are they getting a thousand people into that festival? They're not even letting people go and watch a football game in the open air. So can't really see how that's going to happen. Um, can't. I don't know if we could organise like a Zoom, a Zoom homebrew festival. Maybe, maybe that's what we're going to end up having to do. Brewing wise, now um, we did the stout. You may have seen the stout review. That that's a delicious beer. My alt was was spot on. Everything I brewed recently, I've been really happy with. I have been I've been given um, I've got a fifteen liter urn which I'm uh, looking to uh, play with, and. Uh, 
I have to disconnect the cut off obviously because it... other plans I was gonna do a pumpkin owl and haven't I've got the spices for the pumpkin owl brewed a lot of beer this year but it's mostly small batches um, um, waffling and I am waffling um, I also want as soon as this lifts I'm going to Belgium for a weekend um, I understand that's now not going to be until next year Hot plants. Uh, my hot plants uh, uh, survived till now. Obviously, I had them too late to do anything with, but hopeful for next year. And okay, so yeah, I've just rambled here for 20 minutes, so this will be highly edited, obviously. Um, I've got to go about a litre left, um, so I'm just going to go and get a couple of bowls uh, and finish this bit up, and then we'll start capping. <laughs> little update um, from what you've just seen because I just uh, it all kind of went downhill from um, from there but I'll just show you uh, this is this is it in the Rubicon bottle so we'll wait now for it to carb up uh, at the moment we can squeeze it um, it's starting to settle out you can see there at the bottom There it is. So the Octoni Fest is ready to go. Uh, two weeks time and we'll probably do Octoni Fest in the backyard. And uh, we'll get some bratwurst out and give it a go. <laughs> I've got a whole heap of October Fest beers that I got from uh, Beers of Europe as well. So anyway, I get this beer in the shed and then that leaves me free to think about uh, some other <laughs> beer that I'm going to do. So I hope everyone stays safe and is in good form and drinking decent beer. Uh, I'm planning... I'm planning on doing a Doppelbock uh, before Christmas, but um, I think that's probably what I'm going to do. Um, uh, I don't know what else I'm going to do this year. It's getting to that point where there's no more brewing um, for me till the new year I think I may have one beer in me <laughs> we may do one more beer but uh, that's what we've got so it's Sunday and uh, I'm hoping the weather's so crap that we'll get a roast but I'm not sure the wife's in any mood to do any of that so uh, I don't know if I can get an Uber Eats roast dinner delivery I'm going to go look. Take care, everyone. See you soon.